Hey guys, I hope you had a great week. Uh, we're taking a little detour today. We're in uh, we're in Timmins. We're checking out this cool, uh, like an observation lookout of all this. Uh, it's at the, the, the mine in Timmins, so check this out. And then we're gonna head back out to the camp, but I thought we'd uh, check this out. What do you think, Cole? It's cool, there's a dump truck going up there. Let's see it. Oh, there it is. Down. It looks like a toy truck right there. Oh yeah, a toy truck will right behind them. It looks like a toy truck. Oh, yeah, they're mining over there too so yeah we're gonna go up to the next observation point but they said that uh i guess the security is here and then when uh it's getting close to the blast time they uh they shut it down and then you gotta leave but i don't know pretty cool we're gonna go up to the the higher point and take a look so yeah we were in tim and we uh i took the day off and we had to do some shopping and then uh i thought also checked out a boat while we were here so that's pretty cool maybe you never know oh I'll, to I'll turn you guys around this way you can see the city too so this is uh, my hometown and Jen's hometown that much better of a view from this area but it's still pretty cool anyways if you're looking for something cool to do if you're in Timmins go ahead and do this this is pretty cool well we uh, we got to have a quick little peek but I guess they're gonna they're gonna start to shut stuff down so they're getting ready to do a blast so but it was pretty cool Oh yeah, and there's a drill coming up. Two. Two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Good idea. First good idea in Timmins in many, many years. Hi, okay, we're back out at uh, at the bus. So I'll show you this garden. It is freaking crazy. Look how high these are. These are the beans, but I, I got some more of these uh, bamboo poles and uh, I gotta make this a little bit higher uh, because now they're all intertwined against each other. So I'll put a few there. And then these ones, I'm gonna put them a little bit closer to the edge and they'll probably grow up as well. So that's pretty cool. They've, uh, the last few days, they've just gone crazy. And all the other stuff, the carrots and Some good dill, the chives, flowers, flowers, cucumbers, I think that's more chives. We got carrots here, green onions, and another cucumber, and then the tomatoes. I left the tomatoes inside of it yeah, today. I think uh, they're doing pretty good too. They've had enough rain, so I said, ah, they can go in there for the day. It was a little chillier today, so... Anyways, I'll build that. I'll get this all set up. So yeah, the trip to Timmins uh, went well. We uh, got a few things, like I said. Went and looked at a boat. So that looks pretty cool. Um, we'll discuss that tonight, I guess. And then, uh, what else? Oh, good news. So the house I was speaking about on the last video, um, it's ours now. So... We'll be taking that over at the end of August. So that's good news. It's exactly what we wanted. Uh, for us, it works out good. Uh, and we're pretty happy with it. So uh, like I said, it might not be absolutely perfect, but it's perfect for us. So we'll see. Anyways, I'll do this and then I'll show you guys what I did. We're going on a big adventure tomorrow. 
Uh, weather looks like it's starting to clear up. Uh, clouds are gone away. Sun's coming out first time in a couple days. Um, we're going on a big adventure tomorrow on the side-by-sides. Uh, we're taking ours, uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. They're loading theirs up along with my father-in-law and mother-in-law. They're going to bring theirs too. And we're going to go on a whole day voyage tomorrow. So should be lots of fun. And uh, we'll take you guys along with us. Maybe we'll see some cool stuff. Okay, right, so this is what I got here. Super high. And then maybe I'm going to build something if they keep growing. I'm going to have to go from here to that tree or something. So that's another option. And these ones, I just put a couple sticks going up. So that'll work good. I can't wait to start seeing some beans though. My mother-in-law planted a few weeks before me and she's got a few beans on hers, but well, like I said, we planted late, so I'm not expecting to get any for a bit, but hopefully I didn't plant too late, but even though it's still pretty cool. Hey, okay, so we're all set up uh, for the ride tomorrow. Um, have, uh, hold on, I'll show you. There we go, we got ours all set up, ready to go. Ours is on the trailer, and then uh, Mike and Pascal, theirs are ready to go too, so we're ready for tomorrow morning, bright and early. Morning, guys. Uh, we're just, like I said, we're getting ready for our little, our little trip. I'm waiting for everybody. I've been up since 5, couldn't sleep, wasn't feeling that good this morning, actually, but it's starting to feel better now. Been up for a while probably excited more than anything about this little trip i was just outside checking out the garden and uh it's gonna be a cool day um we hope to see uh some things that we uh haven't seen before and some new sites uh, i've never been here before i've never been to where we're going so um we got a pretty good idea by the map it seems like uh from where we're gonna park the trucks it's about 30, 30 to 40 kilometer bike ride, so it should be pretty good. And, uh, yeah. So like I said yesterday, everybody's loaded up. We got our trailer and then Mike, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. And then we got Pascal and Vanessa, brother-in-law and sister-in-law. They got their bike loaded up, so... They're ready to go. I see Pascal's uh, over there doing something. I don't know. He's snooping. He's snooping. He's probably seeing if his bike's tied down right. Doesn't want that sucker rolling off. Anyways, I'll go and see what the hell he's doing. There we go, we're all loaded up, ready to go. Uh, they're gonna meet us up there because they're slow pokes. <laughs> so we're gonna be up uh, at our uh, drop off location waiting for them. back of us uh, Super Trooper Pascal and uh, Forest Ranger Mike uh, they're going a little slow so I think we're just gonna go ahead a little bit
Well, they think this is uh, the way, so we're gonna try it and see what happens. We got all day to explore, lots of fuel, so whatever. All part of the adventure. Yep.
pretty neat spot here. We're just gonna have our lunch. We're gonna go up a little further and see if we can see the other bridge. I think it's just around the corner. Neat spot, really nice area. I'm okay, buddy. It's a beautiful piece of property. They're probably going to build a nice cottage or something. I don't know. I don't know. Hard to tell. Yeah. We're coming across to the uh, to the second bridge. We just took a short little walk across the bridge. It looks like there's a gate with a "Do Not Enter" sign, so we won't go past there. Uh, but we're gonna just come up on this bridge and oh, take a peek. Uh, me and my father-in-law spent the night. I'll show you guys where, but it was uh, we spent the night. We took the boat uh, up the Abitibi River. And then we uh, we spent the night right out on that point where the two rivers meet, the Circle and Lobush River. Wow, what a neat place. Lots of history here. And there was that one time there was a little town here. So this is where the big boats, uh, the big boats were built uh, for the Abitibi Lake. Uh, the Gibbons and the Davis, they were put together here in Lobush, so in case anybody didn't know. And then uh, they were put in, I believe on the other, near the other bridge. There's a little bit of a gentle landing there and there was actually a town out here before. Yeah, like that a little house, drive. little house, uh, houseboat, or not a houseboat, a uh, boathouse, sorry. Boathouse. But now it's uh, a few little cottages out here. Oh, there's something more than one. That's uh, like a bottle. Well, this was definitely, uh, definitely worth the trip up here. A little bit far, but like I said, we spent the night one time, me and Mike, uh, between the two rivers, a circle and low bush. And uh, we anchored down, we spent the night, we did some fishing. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Nice area, lots of history. I'm, uh, I love uh, local history.
uh, entered the trail for the uh, Stango River Bridge, but the opposite side. We're going to see how far we can go down. Maybe it's shut down too, I don't know. But we'll take a little ride and see. We're out exploring, so why not, right? A little structure we just wanted to check it out <clears throat> I'm not sure what it is just a little camp I think that people shoot a tarp over a little pile of wood there and uh, yeah it looks like maybe they just uh, put a little tarp over and spend the them. night looks like they did some pretty cool construction there's lots of birch bark. Lots of birch bark. <clears throat> no, we don't need any. We have a oh. little table. A little spot to spend the night, I guess, oh, out of the weather. Ladder. There's a ladder. Where's the ladder? Right here. Oh, yeah, and then a little bit of a ladder over there. Pretty cool. And then this thing. You guys seem to, like, cook some stuff in? Yeah, like a little, uh... Cook off. Cook off. Yeah, a little uh, kitchen top or whatever, I guess. Cute little setup. No. So pretty cool construction. We'll take notes of that for Cole's little bush camp. Oh. Oh! This looks, this looks like the ocean. What? Oh. This looks like the ocean. Oh, we're going to see. Look at this. Looks like the ocean. This is so good for a camping trip. So we found, uh, we're driving down the road and then we found, uh, come up upon this little lake. So Mike's going to go down with his four wheeler, but, uh, side by side is too big. yeah, I don't think I'd go to come down here with the side by side. It's a bit on the wide side. Wow, what a beautiful spot. It looks like the ocean. Look how blue it is. I'm going in the lake. And I'm, it's so blue. Can I go in the lake, Dad? Can I go for a swim? I don't care. Get in. No, it's super warm. I'm not joking. Look. Oh. 
Nice. Oh, I can't! Oh, yeah, what a nice little lake. Oh, it's a great lake. Oh, what a nice little lake. My mother-in-law said that one of her friends caught some uh, rainbow here, so that's cool. Have to come back one time. A little boat. Cole's having a good time swimming. I'm just gonna go take five up at the bike. We're supposed to uh, keep driving back or down towards the uh, the other way, we're gonna try to get down to the uh, Lake Abitibi, one little part of it. So we'll see. I'm gonna just take five though. Not feeling that good today. So I'll chill out up here at the bike.
beautiful day though. That was nice. A little hot now actually that we're stopped. Yeah, oh, we will for sure. Well, we're back at the uh, at the bus. Uh, probably unload later. That was uh, quite the day. That was. Uh, I'm trying to think how many kilometers. I think Pascal uh, has it marked down, but it was at least uh, it was over a hundred kilometers on the uh, on the side by sides. Not to mention uh, the driving in the vehicles also. So it was a fun day though. And uh, truck ran good, bike ran good, so I'm happy. And I'm assuming they're on their way. They were right behind us, so should be here soon. To eat. There's still a soap in it. Looks like it. You better jump again. Still? Yeah. Okay. You better jump one more time to make sure. Okay. Head into town and uh, get some ice cream. And uh, Cole wants to look for Bigfoot. So we'll have a little peek for Bigfoot too. Yep. When it gets dark. Leave a comment down below if you think uh, Bigfoot's real or not. Sounds good. So we made it to town, we're at Fuddy Duddy's Variety. Jen's inside getting me ice cream, I'm outside with Pascal, we're, we got stuck with the dogs. <laughs> eh? Hey? Tucker's, Tucker's riding shotgun. <laughs> we got these, uh, we got these uh, twisters, no, what are they called? Lizards. Blizzards. And uh, they're awesome.
Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're pretty well at the end of uh, our space for our video for this week. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun with us. Uh, if you did, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to be doing some more adventures soon. Take care. We'll talk to you later.